How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another new episode of Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, second chapter. We just managed to uh, get free of the forest where we were captured. Now we're swinging back to the Guild Lodge to check in on people and see if it's captured. Well, from the outside, it looks like nobody's here. Yeah, should be safe to nose around inside. There might be traps or something, though, so let's be careful. Got it. That spear looks a lot like... Um, Kurtz. Um, well, let's have a look around. Yeah, there might be, uh, clues or something. Right. A broken spear is lying on the ground. It appears to belong to Kurt. The orbital telephone has been smashed to pieces. Dang it! No surprise from pro mercenaries, I guess. No way they wouldn't cut all the obvious means of communication. Yeah, they don't just want us calling for any reinforcements. Damn, that's going to make this even harder. The barrels of foodstuffs are empty. The enemy took our food, too? Yeah, they're the only ones who would have, I think. And I don't see Phyllis anywhere. No blood, thank I, Dios. I wonder what happened. The window is broken and shards of glass lie on the floor. This is the window that Jaeger leapt through last night, right? Yeah. He was really skilled. You could tell from the way he handled himself. There are bits of paper left behind, indicating something was torn away from the board. Hey, wasn't there a map pinned on here? Yeah, just like the one we have. If they have that, then that means... Doesn't look like any of the rooms upstairs have been disturbed. Here we go. Found Gambler Jack, Volume 1. Okay. I'll look at that later. so his injuries probably aren't fatal. Yeah. Okay, so we've given the lodge a once-over. It looks like the second floor is completely untouched. They only roughed up the first floor. Yeah, I get the feeling there might be a reason for that. 
And now that we know that, I think I have an idea about what the enemy is doing. You do? Some of it still doesn't quite make sense, but a few of the pieces are coming together, I think. Think about it. We've seen what's in the lodge. And there was that tent in the forest. If we put together the clues we found in those two places... Ah, I think I get it. What did the foe do? Um... There's a pretty good chance of that, yeah. There's another thing we can say with certainty, though, I bet. The tent was probably a staging point for attacking the lodge, which means it was abandoned because they've moved somewhere else. Oh, I get it. But they're obviously not using the lodge as a base either. Hmm. Well, they probably realized it's hard to defend the lodge. If the guild ends up sending reinforcements, they're going to need a defensible position where they can keep the hostages. So they must have taken a position somewhere in Le Lochelle that they think they can defend easily. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. So the only place like that around here would be... You two! Oh! Robert! Hey, you're safe! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Last night, Kurt gave me a chance to get away. I've been hiding ever since then. Oh, okay. We're still really glad you're safe. Forgive me, I ran away and abandoned everyone. I'm a pathetic excuse for a man, I know. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. These are Jaegers, after all. Yeah, she's right. If anything, we're lucky they have one less hostage. I see. Thank you, girls. So do you have any idea where Kurt and Phyllis are? You mentioned hostages. Well... Estelle and Annalise relayed their theory that the enemy had taken the two as hostages and moved to a new base. I get it. A base that'd be easy to defend. Grimsel Fortress, then. Has to be. Grimsel what? Th there's a fortress in the canyon? Well, we call it a fortress, but it isn't really one. It's a new training ground we built recently, based on modern military facilities. The idea is to train bracers in counter-terror operations and hijacked military bases, that sort of thing. I never realized there was a place like that in the canyon. It is on the map, though. Annalise. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, you two aren't thinking of taking the fight to them all by yourselves, are you? You need to at least call the guild for backup. Or... They smashed the phone to bits, Robert. They smashed my phone? Those! Um, Robert, calm down, please. Could you try and fix the phone? If you can get it working, contact the guild as soon as you can. Let them know what's happened. Okay. If you need me to tune your orbments, just stop by the workshop. Good luck, girls. I'll be praying for you. Okay, let's go, Estelle. Time to make a two-girl assault on Grimsel Fortress. Let's do it. Let's shop. Let's remind myself what we already have. Annalise has five openings still. No, six. Two specifically only for wind, and four for anything. And she's only got a water right now. Go ahead and make an EP, EP cut. We definitely want her to have that. 
Let's make an evade. She's already got an HP one. Make a defense. And a hit. There we go. Now she's a little more decked out. We should be okay stats-wise, items-wise. Maybe buy a few more of these. Okay, to the fortress. Move to Grimcell Fortress? Yes. So this is Grimsel Fortress? Whoa! This is one weirdo training facility. Anyway, I don't see or hear anyone from out here, but... Yeah, no doubt about it. You can see the footprints of several people who have come through here recently. <laughs> Looks like that tracking training actually paid off. Anyway, given the number of footprint sets, there can't be that many enemies. Three people? Maybe four? Our enemies are good and they outnumber us, but we're senior bracers. There's nothing we can't beat. Heck yeah! Let's give it everything we got! Well, I was thinking we probably don't want to just guard in the front door, but, uh... Judging from the map, it looks like we're barging in the front door. Alright. Oh boy, didn't get the ambush. Uh how? Okay, they seem to be mostly focused on the Analyze. Well, now it's still taking some hits. She just cripes. Thank God she's got healing coming. One enemy down. Attack up for Estelle. That should be enough for her to finish this one. Experience though that I can see us making level 41 in here. That opened that door. What the heck is with this building? Fake walls and weird gimmicks. Hmm. Don't you find this sort of stuff in military bases as a security thing? You know, a movable wall? I guess this place really is used for, like, infiltration or escape training. A military-themed course? Oh, great. It's like I'm trapped in Lyston Fortress all over again. But anyway, I suppose if this thing is active, the Jaegers are in the building. 
Yeah, I'd say it's a good bet. Good news is our enemies probably don't know this place any better than we do. If we proceed carefully and deliberately, we should be cool. Oh. Huh? What's wrong, Estelle? Did I say something bad? Carefully and deliberately. I remember Shara always telling me the same thing. <laughs> Whoops, my dark, horrible past is exposed. Yeah, that's something Shara used to tell me a lot. She was my mentor for a while when I was still a newbie, you see. And, well, I was kind of a super scatterbrain. I heard that line so much, though, it eventually got burned into my skull. <laughs> yeah, I've got a pretty good idea of what you mean. Joshua was just as fond of that saying as Shara was. But neither of them are here now, huh? Just us. Yeah, it's all on us. Let's go, Annalise. Carefully and deliberately, right? Maybe even deliberately and carefully. Okay, so that's obviously the way forward, so let's double back and check this path we didn't take. Monster. We definitely want to be getting the preemptives against this crap. We can kill one of them before it gets a turn. Oh, come on. I feel like the amount of damage we're taking from this stuff is kind of ridiculous. Do we level to 41? Okay, so note to spell if the monsters in here seem to respawn fast. That opened another path. This fight already sucks. 
Hopefully some of these are close enough. There we go. We can get these two in one shot. We can almost get those two in one shot. Okay, we are officially in some trouble here. We're good to go. This is risky. Let's get him off the field. of interest because it's like I want to fight stuff because that's how we're going to get to level up but on the other hand I'm taking enough damage it's harder to it's hard to fight stuff I know what those will do. Yay! Oh, wow. Puts the filter on the... Oh, and she's got... Blind status. And if 
course, I can't change it in mid-battle. funky that we're actually fighting with the same filter. Come on, Annalise, get this thing off. Oh, yeah. 41 for Annalise. She needed that. she couldn't see. For some reason, I thought I had the goggles equipped on Estelle there on Annalise. What are these things called? We haven't ID'd it. Pain Beetle. 
Seems like a fitting name to me. Oh yeah! Oh boy, this is a little harder of a fight. We're gonna spend some craft points here. None of them are close enough to be Kimbo. Let's do this thing! Right. Fifty to go for Estelle now. Found ID unit. What's this? Huh. Seems like some kind of device. Also looks kind of like an Orphan switch. Well, probably good to take it with us, right? This place is a training facility, so it might be used to open trap areas or something. Yeah, good point. Even just getting here, there's been a lot of gates, pitch black rooms and stuff, so... Well, they're always saying to be prepared, right? Anyway, let's get going. Yeah. You obtained a, a, a usable event item. Throughout the story, you'll run into certain story events that will require using one of these in order to proceed. To take advantage of usable event items, open the items tab in the camp menu and directly select the one you'd like to use. Interesting. Fourth floor. Preemptive. help. You know what? Oh, only one of them. And it's preemptive. We should kill this pretty quick. We don't miss. But you know what? We have a lot of EP charges. I should probably start being more liberal in my magic use. Considering these enemies do have elemental weaknesses. The 
door appears to have a lock mechanism, but there's no obvious lever. Hey, Annalise, do you think this device might be... Yeah, it looks like it's a machine to control the door's lock. If we use it, the door should open. But how do you use the darn thing? I don't see a lever or anything. Maybe there's something to open it somewhere. Why don't we go back in? Hey, that's right! You think of something? Remember that device we picked up? Near the stairs? Ah, that weird piece of junk? Yep, maybe we should try it out. Come on, what do you say? Well, I don't mind trying, but I don't know if it'll be that easy. To take advantage of usable event items, open the items tab in the camp menu and directly select the one you'd like to use. Items. There it is. Activated ID unit. Whoa. <laughs> it really opened. <laughs> Justice prevails! Alright, let's keep our eyes revealed and carry on. Yeah. Well, this right here at a rest point seems about as good of an, a place to wrap this episode up as any because I have a feeling we're almost done here. And I have a feeling when we finish, we're going to have a lot of dialogue. We've been going for quite a while already. So I'm going to wrap this episode up here. As always, I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, favorite. Throw any feedback you may have in the comments below, as I always look forward to hearing from you. And we'll see you again next time on another new episode of Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, second chapter. Farewell. Farewell.